Every farm has a quad bike and thanks to some new research and a high-tech tool, they may be about to become even more useful. The new contraptions will make it able to measure pasture quality. As John O'Hutchison reports, that could have benefits for productivity and the environment. It's science with rural sensibilities. These quad bikes have been fitted with all sorts of lasers and screens. And uh, here we are using different kind of uh, sensing devices. They're measuring pasture qualities like magnesium and nitrate levels. We are able to look at those protein levels in the, in the, in the pasture. When are we best to put on fertilisers? Uh, what feeds can we mix with that? It's important information for farmers, but currently to get these readings you have to take a grass sample and send it away to be tested. Instead of waiting several weeks, this technology could provide the data almost instantly. Pastures change on a daily basis, um, certainly you know, on, a, on two or three day type thing. So to be able to have that information coming back um, straight away means you can make critical decisions at the right time. The project is being carried out by Ag Research with help from Massey University and Dairy NZ. They're using tools from different industries, like this one, which normally detects minerals for mining. And it's all pulled together with some Kiwi ingenuity. You get the whole bungee cord there. High levels of nitrates can be bad for the environment when they leach into rivers from cow urine or over fertilising. Environment Waikato says with more accurate information, farmers could manage their pastures and stock more effectively. At certain times of the year when grasses grow quicker, the nitrates are higher and, and, and also other times they're lower. So, you know, when they are high, it might give them some ability to change to a different part of the farm to actually graze that so that nitrates aren't coming through the cow and aren't piddling it on the ground. This technology is being tested with the goal of eventually using it on farms, and by the time that happens, it will be much more compact. But for now, these quad bikes are doing the trick. John O'Hutchison, 3 News.